Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a drawing using all my gold art supplies. This is a huge trend that's been going around YouTube for the last several months where people will take one color and then find all their art supplies in that color and do a piece of art. And I have not done one of these yet, so this is my first one officially. Also, I just want to say that this video almost was not uploaded because I I didn't really like how it turned out 100% mainly because it just felt too simple and so I was going to re-record it potentially but I'm not currently at home I'm visiting family and so I can't record it again and this is the only thing I have left to upload and so it's either this or nothing gets uploaded and so I'm just gonna post it anyway it's not like it's bad it's just more simple than I wanted it to be because I only had three hours to record before I had to get to the airport and it was the whole thing and so this video was a little bit rushed but I hope you enjoy it anyway so let's begin so I'm gonna start here in my marker case and grab some gold items I'm going to grab a couple Copic colors that I consider to be gold there's Y28 and Y26 I use these when doing anything gold I also have this gold gel pen Hmm, oh, this is technically gold, this glitter pen, I think. Looks goldish. I have a gold Sharpie. This little gold pen, I think it's dead, but let's add it to the pile. I have a gold leaf pen. Hmm, I will be using some multi liners and I could use sepia, but just for contrast, I'm still gonna use black for line art. Just grab a few and set those here. I think that might be all for gold in here. Down below, I have some washi tape. So let's grab that. This one here is gold. Moving on over here, I don't have a whole lot for art supplies. This is mostly books and sketchbooks, but I do have my pencil crayons here. Gold. Ooh. I do have a gold paintbrush, which might be interesting. I don't think it really matters as long as I use gold paint, but why not grab this? If I end up needing any other sizes, then I can grab them. Okay, now over here in the closet, I do have some gold paints. There's this glitter stuff here, this gold paint here. I have a couple gold spray paints, and they're more like a glitter spray than a paint spray, so I'll grab one of those. It just mists some glitter onto the artwork. It could make it extra sparkly. Hmm, can these count as gold? Maybe. Oh, there's those little stars. I don't know if I'll use them, but I might as well pull them out. I have bead stuff, like these little pendants. I think there are gold beads down there. Ooh, I forgot about this. Oh, this is gonna get really crafty, potentially. I might not use all this stuff, but I'm gonna pull it out anyway. It could give the art some interesting texture. These drawers just have Copic refills. Oh, that's gold right there. I don't know how many gold paints I need, but you know, might as well try a few different ones. Oh, I have a gold paint pen in here. More paints. I do have a gold acrylic somewhere, but again, how many golds do I need? I'm just gonna skip that one. It's a little one like this, but gold. I think we have enough gold paints. Well, I'll accept these ones I'm gonna grab because they're extra gold. And I should have, there it is, a Winder & Newton gold paint. Again, this is different than those acrylic paints. Oh, that really settled. Look at that. Urgh. Oh, we have a Cricut gold pen. More gold leaf pen, but I already grabbed one. Uh, I think there is a gold in here in this pack. Looks kind of gold to me. I might also grab this stamp and see if that could give an interesting effect with some of the gold paint. Okay, I have all my gold supplies ready, and then I grabbed a few other things because I want to use black paper, but it will not look that interesting if I just use gold, so I also have some white here. I have black, it's not really going to show up on black paper, I guess, but it could help with touch-ups. Maybe I'll use the stamp, I don't know. I might need the tape for cutting washi tape. My art room was moved from the basement upstairs because the basement flooded. And I don't know where my Uniball Signo went. This is my old one that is dead and it might have a little bit of juice left in it. We'll see. 
but I also have the jelly roll, which is not as good. But then there's also the gouache, which I guess I can use as well. I also grabbed my tacky glue in case I need to glue anything onto the paper. All right, I shall begin. So the first thing I did was test out how the different art supplies worked on the black paper to see what they looked like because they're all different shades of gold. Plus, I knew there were things that wouldn't really work because initially when I grabbed things like my Copic markers, I assumed I was gonna be working on white paper, but I went with black paper and so things like the Copics and the Spica glitter pen just did not show up at all. And there were other things that didn't work well either, like my dead, uh, what's it called? Not jelly roll, my other white gel pen, the dead one. It was fully dead and then I tried using the jelly roll and it just wasn't opaque enough for the black. And usually with the jelly rolls, they do start off looking transparent, but as they dry, they get more opaque, but I still didn't really like it, so I figured I'd be depending entirely on the gouache for white areas. Also, the gold spray paint I grabbed was dead. That must be the one that leaked when I was moving all my art supplies. Something had leaked that smelled like paint or paint thinner, and it must have been that one. And so I had to grab the other gold spray paint and use that instead, but they pretty much look exactly the same. Then I had to sketch out something that I would draw on the paper and I had to think quickly because like I said, I only have three hours to do this. And I also felt like it had been forever since I actually drew anything because of all the flood thing. It had been so long since I actually sketched anything out and I was like, oh my God, I forget how to draw. And so I was coming up with a few ideas. One was a head inside of a goldfish bowl and I did like that idea, but just not for this challenge. And then I drew the girl with the swirly hair and the pigtails holding a fish in a bowl. And I liked that idea better. So that's what I ended up going with. And I just sketched it out in regular graphite initially because I wanted to be able to erase it. And then I transitioned to using one of my gold pencils because that pops a little better. You gonna say hi to everybody? Hey, Sadie. <laughs> Don't lick my lipstick. No licking the lipstick. Because there were so many different gold mediums, it's hard to plan out what gold is gonna go where, it just becomes a big mess. I guess you could do a miniature version of the art ahead of time, but I just thought, hey, I'm gonna jump into it and just start slathering stuff where I think it looks good and see how it goes. I was running out of room for the fishbowl because I drew her a little bit too big, but I couldn't really go back and erase it all. I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to erase, but I didn't even wanna attempt it <laughs> because of the gold pencil. So I just squished the fishbowl in there a little higher up than initially planned. And I also changed her mouth because originally she had that little grin, but for some reason I thought it'd be neat if she was kind of throwing up into the fishbowl, but it's not like vomit, it's more like she's, that sounds weird, almost like she's giving birth to the fish. This is so messed up, but it's just like she's the source of the little fishies and they grow into bigger fish, but then why are they in the small fishbowl? You know, it doesn't really make sense. I just thought it would look kind of neat. So it's like she's just vomiting golden sparkles and little fish. I used my Fine Tech Gold paints to do her skin and I grabbed the lightest one for the skin because I thought it would pop nicely against the hair because I knew I wanted the hair to be dark. Because that's one of the, the struggles with this is you have so much gold, how do you get good contrast? Especially when you're trying to use all these supplies and cram them into one piece of art, you don't want it to just be a big blob of slightly different shades of gold. You need to factor in the negative space, which in this case is the black paper. And so I wanted the hair there to separate her hair or separate her face from the background, from the fishbowl. The hair is that big chunk that just separates the picture nicely. So I thought that'd be nice to have that be the negative space and then have all the gold in all those other places. There definitely are some areas I should have left black that I didn't leave black. But like I said, I was just trying to use up all the gold supplies and so I'm just adding gold everywhere. One of those faces is the fish you'll see later. Initially the fish is black and then I colored in gold. Should have maybe just left it black. I did go in with my black Copic markers a little bit just to clean up some areas. So her eye eyeliner slash eyelashes, I went over with marker even though I initially did them in the gold pencil and that looked really cool initially when the rest of her face was black, but then once I colored the skin lighter, it didn't look as good. So I was trying to color on top to darken the eyelashes a little bit. And I also used it other places in the art just to fix up a few areas. Then it was time to bust out the tape, which was interesting. I wanted to cover her clothing in that floral slash whatever type of pattern that is on that tape. And I just stuck it down right on top of her shirt and then cut it out. I had to sort of guess where the lines were and it worked out for the most part. I just needed to do a few touch-ups and that's what I did for that. 
Here I'm painting the fishbowl in an almost white color. Actually, that might be the gouache. And I probably should not have done that because, I don't know, I feel like it needed almost a black outline so that it would have popped more against her body because, like I said, it's just a whole bunch of gold touching each other and it's, there's not enough contrast and negative space. So it would have been nice to leave a black border around the fishbowl. The vomit stuff is also not high enough contrast. I was trying to add more black in there, especially around the edges, but it's a little bit hard to color over it. I guess I could have busted out some black acrylic just to make the edges more defined. Then I tested out using the big stamp with the acrylic paint and I just was not liking how it looked. It was just too messy. I even tried going with a thinner coat of paint, but it was just too blotchy. It was either too much paint or not enough. I just didn't like how it looked. And there's one area of the stamp where it wasn't stamping down nicely. And so I thought, eh, just not gonna use the stamp at all. It's not a gold art supply anyway, so it doesn't matter. I used the Winsor & Newton gold paint to add some extra sheen to her eyes, just make them extra sparkly. I also used that paint on the fish. Like I mentioned earlier, it kind of looked good when the fish was mostly black. I could have maybe added just a few little scales here and there, but instead I added a whole bunch of scales all over and it messed with the contrast. Although I do like the texture, the look of it. I also just like the look of that that gold paint. It's nice. It's it's extra sparkly, extra rich. I did leave the fins mostly black though. And then I took that gold washi tape and added stripes in the background because I just thought that would be a neat look. I'm trying to keep it kind of dynamic. It's like the camera is tilted, so she's at an angle. She's not actually tilting like this. It's more like the camera is. And so I was trying to add some stripes to keep that sense of I don't want to say motion because there's not really much motion in it, but just keep up with the side angle thing, I guess. There's also a big theme of stars and fish in this. So here I'm adding the star earrings and there are also the stars in her eyes, stars on her cheeks. And then there are fish in the fish bowl that I use to have those little fish pendants that I glue on right here. And so fish and stars, I was trying to repeat that theme throughout. It's kind of like space fish. Vomit space fish. I also glued on some of the gold beads and I glued on some of the little confetti sprinkle things. I always think of them as stars, but they're technically daisies because that's what it says on the packaging. And they do look like flowers. They're not really pointy enough to be stars, but in my mind, for the sake of this drawing, they were stars. They're also not quite gold, but they're yellow and they're shiny. It's close enough enjoy this little close-up because it's pretty much the only close-up you're gonna get because I screwed up at the end of this. I waited a little bit for the glue to be mostly dry. It wasn't fully dry because I had to catch my flight and I was like, oh, I'm gonna film the, the close-ups of this, the final look at it where I tilt the paper and you can see the sheen of the gold and get all the close-ups of all the gold textures. But I screwed up and that little clip of me just moving the art away with blankness after it was all I got because I thought I was recording but I actually wasn't. And normally that's fine. I could just go re-record it right now, but I'm not home, so I can't. So there's no close up. You'll just get this little screenshot here. I'm so mad because it's gold paint. I wanted to show the sheen of it. So I think what I'll do is in like in the future once I'm home, uh, which is not too long after you're seeing this video, I'm going to post an unlisted video of the close-ups and I'll link it down below so you can see the close-ups if you care about that. I was looking everywhere, seeing if there was some kind of file that I was maybe just missing, couldn't find it, and my mom said, just include this. <laughs> She's looking at me right now. So there you have it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the next video you see will be something filmed at home. So I'll be back to my usual filming and I'll for sure do a workstation tour of my new art room. I just need to hang some art on the walls and then it's done. So be on the lookout for that. And I have a lot of other exciting videos planned. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in with me, hanging in there while I had this really messed up month of videos, but I'll see you guys in the next one.